It was once famously asked that if backwards time travel is possible, then where are the time travelers? After all, should we not see clear, solid evidence of not only human time travelers visiting us from the future, that's weighty enough, but also alien time travelers from across the universe? After all, if you can travel backwards through time, surely you can travel through space just as readily. Certainly you could make the argument that time travelers, especially ones of earthly origin, would do everything they could to hide themselves for fear of inadvertently sparking off paradoxes that might erase their very existence back to the future style. Problem though that is, it actually creates a different problem as well. It's that of not being able to affect the past in a way that will benefit the future. This is where prediction becomes impossible, because you have too many variables as depicted in science fiction, like the movie Interstellar, the Star Trek Voyager Year of Hell two-part episode, and many others. In a sense, it's a variation on the butterfly effect. As a time traveler, you can't know what the consequences of messing with the past, causality, are until you see the end result in your own timeline. It would be extremely difficult to predict all outcomes of your actions. Even just messing with the trajectory or circumstance of a single subatomic particle might balloon up to a different result than what you expected. This is confounded physics, quite frankly, because if backwards time travel is possible, then the paradoxes mount up into an enormous heap that can't possibly be how the universe works. Cause followed by effect seems an immutable truth. What happened, happened. And that's it. Or at least that's the convenient way of saying it. But in this context, if you could travel backwards in time, then there is an obvious reality here. And it is, yet again, where are the time travelers? Earth and human civilization in the future should be visiting us, if that were possible. And unless they did it in the most innocuous way possible to avoid paradoxes, think no traces of them left at all, or they'd have been found out. But to date, there's been no credible evidence of a time traveler visiting us, though there have been many claims. This leads to some unpleasant scenarios, however. But before we get to that, maybe it's just that backwards time travel is impossible, which does seem to be the case with our current knowledge of physics. But there are loopholes that open up the possibilities that there may be options where it might not be prohibited. Leaving the past aside, we do know, however, that time travel into the future is possible, and that's fully consistent with Einstein's relativity. More on that in a bit. But maybe backward time travel is in fact possible in very specific circumstances, and there are actually some hypothetical ways it could be done in physics. Though in fairness, they are all impossibly huge undertakings, such as building a gigantic rotating cylinder that spans half the universe that can only take you back to the moment of the cylinder's creation or ideas about the extremely distorted environment bending time just above the event horizon of a black hole. So there are hypothetical ways to go back in time, but it may simply turn out that there are unforeseen blocks to that, and that the timeline is the timeline, and that's it. But chillingly, it could simply be that aliens that can time travel just don't come here. We're inconsequential to their current aims, or they don't care about us and just don't come here and thus it's no surprise that we never see them. Or alternatively, we are so vitally important to the future of the galaxy that this world is off limits, a no paradox zone. Lurking in that, however, is the idea that maybe someday that status quo will change and something we do, some unknown technology we develop, or just some ideology or trend results in a flood of time traveling aliens from the future, suddenly appearing and stopping us or otherwise taking an interest in our development to sculpt the galactic or intergalactic future to their ends. In other words, we don't matter until we do. And that's the point at which we lose control of our destiny. But also within this is the possibility that aliens that make it past the great filters don't care to time travel, or they do it internally only. And for humans, perhaps the reason we don't see time travelers is that there simply are no humans left in the future to develop backwards time travel. Maybe we are just a flash in the pan, destined for extinction sooner rather than later. That does not really matter in the greater context of the universe. We in this case are an unimportant blip to most other civilizations. 
if they even know about us, because we went extinct before we became interesting and could alter the timeline and affect anyone else in the galaxy other than ourselves. But in this case, longevity is key. And if you only exist as a technological civilization for a hundred or so years in a galaxy that lives on timescales of many billions of years, then we become a footnote rather than anything important in the great encyclopedia of the universe. We're a short paragraph, whereas smarter civilizations may occupy many hundreds of pages, such as is the case of my Wikipedia page versus that of William Shatner. This opens up a spooky possibility, and it comes from the one type of time travel we know we can do. You can go to the future. We do it every second of our lives, but through Einstein we can accelerate the rate at which we move through time simply by accelerating to relativistic speeds. This is the twin paradox, where one identical twin gets on a rocket and goes near the speed of light for a time, turns around and comes back to Earth to find that their identical twin has aged decades relative to the Traveler, and he had in fact returned to Earth's future. But in this variant, the Traveler leaves, comes back and finds the human species, and our civilization has gone extinct. And perhaps even Earth was rendered uninhabitable. The Space Traveler, instead of looking to meet their twin in the future, finds only desolation and the end of humanity. This has also been explored in sci-fi, but what would you even do? If the future of Earth is uncertain at the time you left, the only reason you'd come back is to see what happened. That's valid for curiosity's purposes, but at the same time, disappointing. You'd find no space elevators, solved human problems, cures for all diseases, or humans living in space. You'd find only the aftermath of extinction. At that point, we'd just be fossils, like the dinosaurs. Imagine that all that you and everyone was relegated to a geologic fossil record, destined, should no aliens ever find it, to melt when the sun becomes too hot. All traces of us, should we go extinct in the next centuries or millennia, will be erased, probably by Earth, but certainly by the death of the sun when everything goes molten again. If the future consists of a burst of intelligent life as the universe ages, they may never know we ever existed. Unless, of course, in the future there will be alien species capable of backwards time travel, exploring the past, not to change it, but to study it, and solve their own Fermi paradox. If you see no others in the great expanse of space, then searching the great expanse of time might be the better option. And that brings up the question again, where are the time travelers? We know this galaxy is billions of years old and was capable of producing planets and civilizations at least several billion years before Earth formed. This is likely to be the case for innumerable galaxies, offering what would appear to be many millions or billions of chances for exoplanets to spawn technological civilizations, all of which could have developed backwards time travel or traveled forward in time to visit us in the rather odd possibility of getting visited by an alien time traveler from the past which also does not appear to have ever happened, but actually is fully consistent with relativity. We left our home world 100,000 years ago at relativistic speed in your frame of reference, but to us it was merely yesterday and ours. Yet that we don't see that presents one of the greatest mysteries involving the Fermi Paradox, in that one way or another, whether from the future, past or present, we see no alien civilizations. That of course could simply be due to the fact that space travel is hard and resource intensive and backwards time travel is simply impossible and no one ever does any of these things. But there are other options and one of them, again, is rather spooky. On this theme it would be that the solution to the Fermi Paradox is that all civilizations exist either in the past or the future and this particular time period of the universe is good for biology but ultimately not the ideal time period to exist in. Aliens may travel to the future to a time when the universe is teeming with alien civilizations, having had many more billions of years to evolve other intelligences. Or they may go to the past due to some benefit, such as the universal habitable zone, where the entire universe was warm enough for liquid water. But it can be taken further. If you have a full command of space and time, say you are a six billion year old civilization, then the universe is effectively your oyster. You can explore the entirety of the observable universe and beyond without any concerns regarding the passage of time. You literally have all the time in the universe at your service. 
So long as you don't go back to the Big Bang and incinerate yourself, you could do anything. This creates a scenario where whatever civilization was the first to achieve this becomes the permanent master of the universe that can short circuit any competitor civilizations at any time to maintain their hegemony. In this case, we should hope that we are the first civilization. This all-powerful primordial civilization may wish to conceal its presence from all, leading to a kind of universal zoo hypothesis, where you're not really talking merely a civilization that rules the galaxy as a zookeeper, but a civilization that rules the universe as such by manipulating time. They may not bother with civilizations that have not reached a technological level sufficient to present competition, such as our own currently in comparison primitive planet, but they do the moment anyone develops a sufficient understanding of time to start messing around with it. It may be imperative to intervene this way, to prevent any civilizations from creating paradoxes, or go so far back in time as to mess up the development of the early universe. Perhaps they attack those civilizations in the present to avoid paradoxes, or worse, they go back and simply erase those civilizations from time. They go to their past and prevent all life on their home world from arising by sterilizing their planets during their microbial stages. The power of such a civilization is immeasurable and starts to open up the infamous hypothesized first SETI radio message. Be careful or they'll hear you. Thankfully, perhaps, we have no evidence of this ever having happened, but I leave you with this final thought. Everything we've learned about the laws of physics tell us that you cannot travel to the past. You can only see the effect of it through causality. If that holds, as is the case for everyone in the universe, then we are all up against a question. Why is it like this? Why is it that the universe itself does not allow us to do this? What set that rule? It shouldn't care if we mess with the timeline if it's an unthinking process. Yet the universe simply does not allow us to mess with the past. Why that is, I leave up to you. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently ushering in spooky season. Look for an entire month of spooky speculative science and futurism videos on this channel, and indeed Event Horizon as well. So it begins. Welcome to October. Be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and subscribe to my channels for regular in-depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing spooky universe in which we live.